Hello and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B, and today it is Saturday, and we got another AEW uh, pay-per-view. Yeah, they still do pay-per-views, um, as far as I know. I know they're supposed to be announcing a new uh, uh, television deal, and there was rumors that maybe they'll start doing uh, maybe more like WWE does, the, the PLEs. I mean, I don't think they'd call them necessarily PLEs, but, you know, they'd be... Uh, you know, streaming on Max, but then there was some speculation that they they might be on Max, but they'll still be pay-per-views, kind of like how they do with UFC, but I don't know, and maybe that stuff has already been announced. I have no idea, but as I'm recording this, it has not. As I'm recording this a few weeks ahead of time, unfortunately, uh, this timing for me to record is just, uh, that's just how it is. Uh, but we got Wrestle Dream coming up tonight, uh, so we're going to open up a 2022 Tops, no, sorry, Upper Deck AEW uh, box, uh, Blaster Box as we speculate on what might happen tonight because I actually don't really know any of the matches yet. I don't think they've announced any as I'm recording this. But anyways, if you missed any wrestling, other wrestling-related videos, head up there. There should be a big old playlist right there. But if you're looking for something specific, it might be easier to just go to search the channel page. And while you're over there, hit that uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the, turn on the notifications. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Hit that share button. Share this with everyone. You know, Head on down in the comments. Tell me who you think might win some of the matches um, or what you think might happen at the pay-per-view, um, all that sort of thing. And then uh, check out the links in all in in the description for all my other internet stuff: eBay, Facebook, Instagram, X, Threads, all that stuff. All right. So let me just check real quick on the the old Wikipedia page to see um, if they've actually announced any matches because I don't think that they have. They're uh, you know as I'm recording this, this is before Grand Slam, so they're kind of building up to Grand Slam. So I feel like stuff that happens there is probably going to dictate some of the what the matches are for wrestle dream um yeah there's nothing announced so far um so let's i mean i i gotta kind of backtrack even though grand slam as you're watching this video has already happened um but i don't know what's happening at it so it's tough to know um <laughs> it's tough to know it's tough to figure out but like there's stuff going down there um yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, so let's get into this and see what we got going on. Of course, uh, CM Punk uh, no longer with the company. Neither is Jade Cargill. Uh, CM Punk just had a Hell in a Cell match last week, um, which I have no idea what happened because, again, I'm recording this ahead of time. Uh, but we got Jack Perry, Darby Allen. They could be heavily involved. Uh, Hangman Page, unfortunately, Thunder Rose is out with an injury um, at the moment. And then Britt Baker, no idea what's going on with Britt Baker. She got suspended, but then she wasn't suspended, but then she was suspended, but then, I don't know. Uh, but who knows? Um, so maybe she'll do stuff. Oh, maybe she'll be on the show. I don't know. No idea. But let's get to it, see what we can find, and kind of just chat. See, see what might happen. I mean, Darby Allen could very well be heavily involved in the show it is in tacoma washington where he's i don't know if he's i don't think he's from tacoma but i mean he's from washington um it says he's from seattle so um you know tacoma's pretty close to seattle i'm pretty sure right <laughs> we got wardlow uh i have no idea what's going on with wardlow he was part of the undisputed kingdom sort of kind of and then Adam Cole got mad at him because he's lost to uh, uh, Samoa Joe, I think. And then I kind of just disappeared. So maybe he's injured. I, I honestly don't know. Got Ruby Soho. She is pregnant, I believe, if I remember correctly, with Angelo Parker. Um, but that's a gold. Oh, we got a we got a we got a hit. We got a relic out of fifty. Sean Spears, who no longer with AEW, he is in NXT right now, doing the NXT stuff. Uh, um, as I'm recording this, he was him and he was trying to recruit Brooks Jensen, kind of, but then Brooks Jensen's a bit speculative that he's just trying to use him. That whole thing. Luchasaurus, or he's now called Kill Switch, of course, part of the Patriarchy. Red Velvet. I don't know. I don't know. She's around, I guess, doing stuff. I feel like she might be more Ring of Honor, doing Ring of Honor stuff. Uh, honestly, I don't I don't really know. I don't really follow Ring of Honor too closely. I'm not a part of Honor Club, <laughs> so so I don't really watch it. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. 
And they have the pay-per-views. I'll sometimes check it out. Angelico, another guy that I believe's mainly Ring of Honor. Riho, she pops up now and again. Duke Grayson, Dark Order. They, well, actually, no. He's not a part of the Dark Order anymore. He, he Is he even still with the company? I know he left, and then he came back. And then he turned in the Dark Order. Then he joined up with someone else. But I don't know. But a lot of that was Ring of Honor stuff, so I don't know. Dante Martin, a part of Top Flight. That is gold. We got Dax Harwood. Uh, FTR. Uh, they were... No, they just fought Grizzled Young Veterans. Well, as I'm saying just. It was a few weeks ago, but I just watched it. Britt Baker we just talked about. She had, she came back, had a match with Mercedes Monet, which wasn't too great. Maybe got suspended, maybe didn't get suspended, but then got suspended. Who knows? Kenny Omega still out with the diverticulitis. And the learning tree. Chris Jericho still doing learning tree stuff, I guess. Uh, all right. We got tag teams, the Varsity Blondes. Well, Brian Pillman Jr., of course, is now Lexus King in a, uh, NXT. Griff Garrison. I feel like he was in something with Maria Canellis in Ring of Honor, but again, don't really know. Kyra Shida, she just fought Mercedes Monet at All Out in a losing uh, attempt to, for the TBS championship. Powerhouse Hobbs. Lots of was out injured. Ricky Starks is just biding his time to leave, I, I, guess, I guess, at this point. I, no one seems to know what's going on with him. Uh, the Blade was reversed around. Uh, it's some sort of parallel. It is, does it say? Doesn't say. Some sort of parallel. Some uh, dyna, dyna. fireworks, maybe? Fireworks parallel? Uh, he just had back fusion surgery, I think, if I just heard that right. I think it was him. It was either him or the butcher, but I think it was him that had the surgery because he'd been out for a bit. So uh, who knows when he'll be back? Thunder Rosa out with a uh, currently out with a uh, concussion. Sam Guevara recently just returned um, from something. I, I don't know. It was kind of confusing because he got suspended, but then he was also having a baby, so he was out with the for having the baby but was also suspended for a thing with Jeff Hardy but then he came back and tag is tagging with Dustin Rhodes they're the uh, Ring of Honor tag champions Dolly Blanchard no longer with AEW um, he was, of course was managing FTR for a bit but then just kind of left I don't, I don't know what happened Andrade is now in WWE back in WWE he was uh as I'm recording this, he's about to have a, a... Well, he's the WWE Men's Speed Champion, but he's also going to have a shot at the U.S. title against L.A. Knight. So that already happened. I don't know I, I don't know if he won or not. I'm guessing he didn't, but you never know. Um, then we had Alex Reynolds, Dark Order, we discussed. Anna Jay, she was part of the Dark Order at one point. Uh, but then she was, part, she was part of the Jericho thing. I think she was just wrestling in stardom for a while and just came back from japan i remember them talking about it so i'm not sure what she's up to but could be on the card tonight but christian cage the the canvas card of course uh part of the 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 head of the patriarchy also has that uh contract from winning the casino gauntlet thingy uh that he tried to sort of cash in at all out but then didn't but could he again uh-huh. Nyla Rose, she fought someone recently. I don't remember who, but... Oh, maybe... No, she fought, um... Mariah May, I believe, for the Women's Championship a couple weeks ago. Didn't win, but... Anthony Bowen's acclaimed. They're doing stuff. There's the Blade again, the non-parallel version. Uh, and Keith Lee... I don't know where Keith Lee is. Um, had health, some health issues, I guess. I, I Health issues have plagued him ever since, you know, even WWE days. He just, I don't know, just, uh, I don't know. It's been, not been great. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. But hopefully everything's good with him. Hopefully he's back soon. 
but I don't know. Taz uh, doing his announcing stuff. Even though him and Tony Schiavone get into it quite a bit from time to time. Uh, Ray Phoenix. Um, yeah, potentially WWE bound. Uh, a lot of rumors going around uh, that uh, Penta Penta's contract was up or close to being up and he wanted to go. Obviously, WWE was interested, but they were like, oh, we kind of want both of you. But then Ray Phoenix's contract might have gotten extended because he had that horrific injury, uh, if you remember. Um, uh, when he broke his leg. I forget when that was, but it was a while ago. Uh, but obviously, he was out for a bit. So they you know, might have tacked on time. So it's unclear. Uh, the Big Show, Paul White. Well, not The Big Show. Not The Big Show. No no BS, Paul White. Um Rumors where he might be getting back in the ring, but we'll see. Vicky Guerrero, she was just on SmackDown a couple weeks ago, so no, obviously no longer with AEW. Uh, when the the up uh, the um, SmackDown re debut or return to USA, they had a bunch of uh, legends and stuff. She was among those. Anthony Bones, we talked about the claim doing stuff. Uh, they're always in the tag team mix and trios mix with. Uh, Billy Gunn, but that's a dynamite firework, I don't know, something like that, some sort of parallel. Uh, and then we got uh, Cash Wheeler, of course, tagging with um, Dex uh, FTR. Jay Cargo, of course, currently the women's tag team champion with Bianca Belair over in WWE, so no longer with AEW. And we got more tag teams. The Young Bucks, they're currently the tag team champions, as far as I know. Because they were defending them at Grand Slam against Kyle Fletcher and Will Ospreay. So, might have lost them. I don't know. I can't tell the future from the future in the past. What? What, what did I just say? Can't tell the future from the past in the future. But it's my past. What? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We got Sean Spears again. Of course, in NXT. The Bunny, I don't think she's in AEW anymore. I feel like she's gone. Could be wrong about that. But I feel like I heard something recently that she was... Just her contract was up. But she hasn't popped up anywhere else as far as I know. Uh, Eddie Kingston's currently still out injured. It's cool. We got Sammy Guevara. We talked about Lance Archer. He pops in from now to now, now and again to get stuff, fight to beat up people, you know. So uh, he was recently in that. It was like a tournament thingy to determine the Continental Championship contenders. He was in a match with Mark Briscoe, I think. He lost. Um, Chris Cage. We discussed. Could potentially be champion anytime soon. Miro, no idea what's going on with Miro. Adam Cole, same sort of deal. They were out with injuries, potentially. I know Adam Cole definitely was. Miro, I think he was out with an injury as well. Um, so they could be back soon, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out sooner, soon, maybe. Or not. <laughs> or not. Who knows? Um, all right. All right, a couple more packs to go. Uh, we got <laughs> Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus. They're not a tag team anymore. Um, that's been long since done. Chris Statlander, of course, beat uh, Willow Nightingale in a street fight at All Out. A Chicago street fight at All Out. Uh, of course, uh, partnering with... Um, I want to call him Malcolm Bivens, but that's his WWE name. Uh, Stokely Hathaway. We got another hit. Wow, another hit out of this box. That's surprising. Penta L 0 m or whatever version of Penta he's going by, whenever. Um, again, potentially WWE bound. Uh, we'll see. That feels like a, a matte relic. I don't know if it is. Yes, ring mat. Okay, was what was this? This doesn't look like a ring mat. Looks like a shirt or something. It just says Sean Spears memorabilia. Um, yeah, it looks like a shirt. I'm guessing that's a t-shirt. But that's definitely a mat. That's cool. Just a couple hits. Uh, Christian Cage and then Lee Johnson. 
Um, I don't know where Lee Johnson, what the, Lee Johnson, I can't remember the last time I saw Lee Johnson do anything. He might be doing the Ring of Honor stuff, if I had to guess. If he's still even with AEW, I, I think he is. I don't know. All right, last pack. Definitely a good box so far. We got two hits. I wouldn't expect another one, but stranger things have happened, I suppose. Ruby Soho, we discussed earlier. Dante Martin, we discussed earlier. Ricky Starks, we discussed earlier. Darby Allen, okay, here's an interesting one because he could very well be the number one contender for the AEW championship because he was the number one contender for the AEW championship, but yet it it's not happening. And again, I'm recording this before Grand Slam, so I don't know what happened actually at Grand Slam, but it's because Moxley took out Daniel Bryan, sorry, Brian Danielson, um, Brian Danielson wasn't going to be able to compete at Grand Slam against Darby Allen, who'd won a, some sort of gauntlet thing. I don't even remember because Christian Cage also won a gauntlet thing for the thing. They always having these gauntlet things. I don't even know. I don't, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> who knows? It was one of those things that he won, but then he also won one. So they do them all the time. It just gets confusing because uh, they did one for the tag titles too, or the trios championships. I don't even remember recently. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, point being... Um, so, <laughs> yeah, John Moxley's like, well, he's not gonna be able to wrestle, so, you know, you might as well wrestle me, and then the winner, you know, I'll get the shot. And, of course, Darby's like, sure, why not? Go, let's do it. Like, uh, learn, he's learned, he learned from the best. He learned from Sting, who's probably one of the dumbest wrestlers of all time, if you go back and actually watch, like, old WCW stuff. But anyways, um... Uh, but learned, learned from the best, I, <laughs> apparently. Uh, okay, sure, I'll give up my shot to fight you to because he'll he, Brian Danielson won't be ready. Then Nigel McGinnis, two seconds later, is like, Nope, I, I want to fight Brian Danielson in Grand Slam. Wait, I thought he wasn't gonna be ready, but if he is ready, shouldn't he just fight Darby Allen? The whole thing makes no sense. Maybe they clarify it better, go you know, headed into this thing, but just watching it from afar, I'm like, What? What? So he can't fight him, so he's going to fight him, but he can fight him? That, that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, presumably the winner of that match is going to fight um, Brian Danielson at all, or sorry, at Wrestle Dream, because I don't think his match against, imagine again, this is for the title, and it wouldn't make sense if it was, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be. Um, now, given that this is Nakoma, Darby Allen from Seattle, it kind of would make sense that he'd win and have the title shot at uh, Wrestle Dream, but uh, given the storyline, it would make a hell of a lot more sense to have John Moxley fight Brian Danielson. So, you know, Brian Danielson also from Washington. Um, now, I originally thought that Swerve was going to get his rematch because he's also from, I think he's actually from Tacoma, uh, but then Adam Page burned his house down and which presumably was in Tacoma. I I I, I never. I don't think they ever explained where that house was, because where was the show from? The when they burned the house. I don't know. Whatever. And then lost that match, and apparently is going to be out for a while. So I don't know. But the point being, Darby Allen could potentially be headlining this show, or not. Or maybe they'll make it a triple threat. I don't know. Ty Conti. She had a baby. Ty Mello, as she goes by now, even though she should be Ty. Guevara shouldn't be she be I don't know whatever I don't know anyways uh, outside the ring Mark Henry no longer with AEW now uh, showed up at WWE recently uh, his son signed with WWE in one of the NIL NIL deals I believe Justin Roberts doing the uh, thing and Malachi Black um still in the house of Black doing doing the trios stuff mainly. These days. Um, so there we go. Again, apologize. Can't really talk about much of the matches because I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, or they haven't announced any matches. Um, so it's tough to really say. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's AEW, so the matches will probably all be good. But sometimes the storylines they get there aren't the, aren't the best. Uh, I feel like they've been doing better with that recently, but eh, I don't know. You never know. Anyways, so there we go. We got a couple hits in this box. We got that one out of 50. You got the Penta Matt collection. We got a couple other parallels and a bunch of gold and stuff. So 
Oh uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today for this video. Hopefully you enjoy Wrestle Dream coming up tonight. And uh, what's the next pay-per-view we got going on? Uh, we got uh, Crown Jewel, I think, it's the beginning of November. Oh, no, 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 Halloween Havoc. Uh, the end of October. Hall Halloween time for NXT. Uh, so should be back with something for that. But uh, in the meantime, watch all the other videos on the channel. Subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, enjoy Russell Dream tonight. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun. Talk to you next time. Bye.